I'm coming to you today from my shower. Hi, I'm Lowry the Pretty Potsy. I took a shower today. It doesn't happen often, I'm sad to admit, but I took a shower today and while I was in the shower, I decided to make a video to share with you some tips and tricks on how to shower and not get super potsy and to not get more symptomatic um, if you have POTS or dysautonomia. There's sort of a running joke in our family. Um, is it a good day to take a shower? Uh, most people take a shower every day and I used to take for granted the fact that I was able to take a shower every day. But with POTS, it's something that I have to plan ahead and schedule and make sure that I have plenty of energy and there's some things that I do before a shower, during a shower, and after a shower that have really helped me um, with my POTS. So today I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about what I do and hopefully it might help you in your life with your POTS and with your dysautonomia with your daily tasks um, such as showering. So there's only so many days I can get away with my dry shampoo. Luckily, my hair isn't very oily, um, so I can go about a week. Um, I start using dry shampoo about three days in, and then I start wearing my hats. Um, high buns is, like, if you see me in a high bun, that's probably like day six of not showering. Um, so today, I needed to take a shower, and I planned ahead, and so let me let, let you know what I do before a shower. Um, I always tell someone I'm going to take a shower. I will not take a shower if I'm home by myself. Um, if you live by yourself and if you have POTS, um, just be really careful because that is a time where you're more likely to feel dizzy or to pass out. So if you don't have someone you can tell, um, just make sure that you're really careful. But I always tell my husband, he knows, hey, I'm getting in the shower. He comes and checks on me periodically. Um, I don't ever pass out in the shower, at least knock on tile. I haven't passed out in the shower, so he's not as worried, but he just checks on me periodically. Um, after you tell someone that you're getting in the shower, then you're good to go. But before even that happens, um, I usually plan on taking a shower in the late afternoon or at night. Um, if I took a shower in the morning, I would not be able to do anything else probably for the rest of the day, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, why is that? When you have POTS, and I'm sure if you've watched some of my other, other videos, I've talked about how our blood vessels don't dilate and constrict properly. And so when you have POTS, dysautonomia, your autonomic nervous system doesn't function properly. And so in our legs, our blood vessels, they, um, they pool blood during the day. And when you take a shower, it's sort of a trifecta of three bad things for POTS. Number one is the heat. So heat causes our blood vessels to dilate. And when our vessels dilate, it's even harder for us POTSies to get more blood back up and back into our brains. And so we're gonna have more symptoms if we are having heat, um, a hot shower, a bath, if it's a hot day, if you're laying out in the sun. So in a shower, you're gonna have warm water, it's heat. So you're going to have your blood vessels dilating and it's going to exacerbate your POTS symptoms. Number two, you're standing up in a shower. And so that right there is something us Potsies don't really like to do. If we stand up, we're gonna have excess blood pooling in the lower extremities of our body. We're gonna have not enough blood up and we're not gonna feel as good um, later on during the day because of that happening. And then number three in the shower, um, we're usually gonna put our arms up to wash our hair, to rinse our hair. Um, and having our arms up actually cuts off a vein and vessel system that brings um, important blood up into our brains. So that is like the trifecta of yuck taking a shower when you have POTS. And so I'm going to share a few things with you today, how to counteract those three things and how to feel a little bit better. 
So um, before you even think about getting in the shower, you want to plan your shower and make sure that you haven't had too much going on in the beginning of the day and you want to make sure you don't have any plans in the evening. I typically take a shower late afternoon or night and that way if I get dizzy or if I feel really worn out um, because it does make your heart beat a lot faster while you're in the shower. It's not only, you know, the motion that you're doing while you're standing in the heat, all of those things, your blood um, is not getting returned. And so your heart is beating a lot faster. And so that can make you also very tired um, after a shower. So I tend to take my shower at night. Um, if I have plans the next day, um, I will always shower the night before. And luckily my hair is so thick, you know, if I blow dry it at night, it's really puffy. And so by the next day it is smoothed out. And so it tends to work for me. Um, I know people who have oily hair, if they wash it at night, it may not look the way they want the next day. So you just have to evaluate, you know, if you want to feel good or if you want to look good to make that decision about when you're going to take a shower. So um, it's really important before you shower to hydrate. And so typically I will have two electrolyte drinks um, before a shower during the day. I'll spread them out and I avoid any carbs or sugars that day. I typically do avoid carbs and sugars, but if I know I'm planning on taking a shower, I make sure not to cheat because I find that that pulls excess blood in the stomach and makes it even harder to recover from a shower. Um, another thing that I like to do right before a shower, so I turn the water on to get warm, and while I'm waiting for the water to get warm, I dry brush. And this is so good for us potsies. Dry brushing, it exfoliates your skin, but it also helps your blood vessels. So I start with my toes and I work my way up, but this is actually helping to push the blood that has been stagnant in our legs and in our feet. It helps with draining lymph fluid um, and it helps your circulatory system. Um, I won't show you right now a full body, but just to get the gist, you start with your toes, you do one foot all the way up to your thigh and your butt, and then you start on your other foot and you go all the way up that foot, um, thigh and butt, and then I do my arms, to, you always go towards your heart, um, and then I will do my stomach and my back, and I try to dry brush my whole body right before I get into a shower, and you can even do it sitting down. Um, it will help a little bit because I got out of breath just doing that right now. Um, I typically, again, don't plan anything after a shower. So here I am making my video right after a shower. So if, you, if I seem a little bit potsy, you'll know why. Um, so I will make another video purely devoted to dry brushing because I think it's so important. And so hydrate, wear compression the day, um, before your shower. So make sure you're wearing either compression socks, um, compression high-waisted undies, both, or compression pants because that's going to help keep more blood up so that the effects of the shower aren't going to be as noticeable for you. Um, and then I dry brush right before I get in. When I get in the shower, I start with coolish water. Not warm, not cold, but coolish. And, um, you know, as bearable as you can, I live in Arizona, it's really hot here. So sometimes it's nice to start with a cool shower. I love hot showers, but I've had to completely give those up since I was diagnosed with POTS. They just don't work for me. Um, but I'll give you a little tip so that you can have a little warmth in your shower. So I start it as coolish as I can handle it um, to get, you know, my hair wet, to get my body wet. And then I'll turn it just a touch warmer. Luckily, I have a seat in my shower. I'm sitting on it now. And that's one of the things that everyone with pots should have. Whether you buy a cute little wooden stool or a plastic shower chair, or if you have even better, um, a bench in your shower. Um, I find that it's very important because you will get lightheaded in your shower and you can't stand up the whole time unless you're you know, in remission from your pots. But if you're in a flare or if you have the kind of pots that I have, 
Um, you just have to have a place to sit in the shower. So I'll start with coolish water and then I um, turn it just warm enough to sort of warm my body up. Um, and then I sit down and the first thing I do is shampoo my hair. So I've already got my hair wet and I'm sitting down and you know, you really don't want to put your arms up over your head. So the best thing to do is sort of bring your head down to your arms to shampoo your hair. Um, and some people keep their shampoo conditioner up high in their shower. In fact, I have a caddy hanging from the shower head. I don't keep my stuff in there because I don't want any reason to have to reach up that I don't have to. So I keep my shampoo and conditioner right here on this bench so that it's right here when I need it. Um, I also keep a brush so if I have tangles I can brush through my hair while I'm putting in conditioner. I keep my dry brush to use right before the shower and then I keep my shaver right here, razor handy too. So make sure everything is within reach um, and make sure you have your bench. So after I shampoo my hair, I will stand up slowly, rinse it out. I don't put my hands up to rinse it out. I lean back and you know rinse it out with the water and make sure you're, you're reaching up as little as possible while you're in the shower. That will help to make sure that you feel better and that you're not getting the symptoms from the excess blood pooling and then putting your arms up to cut off more blood that um, is not making it to your brain. Um, so also while you're in the shower, um, once you've washed your hair and shaved anything else you're going to do, um, you've done your conditioner. I always sit down while my conditioner is in and that's when I shave. Um, at the end of the shower, that's when I will allow myself a nice warm um, rinse. So I will just rinse everything off, rinse off the soap. And I, I get it, you know, as warm as I can stand it um, just for a couple minutes. Um, and then the final thing I do in the shower is a cold blast. And if you finish your shower with really cold water, you're gonna find that it helps constrict the blood vessels, um, especially the ones in the legs. It constricts them, it helps the blood get back up that's been pooling in your legs. It also is really good for your hair. It seals the cuticle. Um, it seals in some of the conditioner that you've used in your hair. I have really dry hair. So it's actually really good to have a cold rinse at the end of your shower. As cold as you can handle it, I turn it all the way cold. And here our pipes are really far under the ground, so the water does get nice and cold. Um, so end your shower with a cold rinse, and that's going to set you up to feel as good as possible after your shower. And then when you're out of the shower, there's a few things that I recommend. As soon as you dry off and put on lotion, and of course do that sitting down, I keep um, a little stool in my bathroom as well. I recommend putting compression socks on right away and then I take a little rest. I always plan to have some time after a shower to lay down. I don't lay all the way flat. I use pillows to prop up because going all the way flat after being in the shower and having the blood pooling, um, it can cause a headache because the difference in pressure from standing in the shower to laying down, the blood could rush into your head and it can also give you head pressure. So I use pillows and sit up just a little bit, but I lay down enough to sort of get the blood going and um, to make me feel a little bit better, to let my heart rate settle down. But, you know, taking a shower is a huge event for epoxy. And so just know that it's most important to plan ahead and to do some small prep beforehand and you could, you'll be good to go. So I just took my shower, I'll be good for the next week. Um, I'm gonna go and lay and rest for a little bit and I don't have any plans the rest of the day. So um, I appreciate you watching this video. I hope this helps you. If any of you potsies have other tips for showering, please comment below. I would love to hear any tips that you have. Um, I think that's it. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I am excited that I will be posting a video soon on how to do the dry brushing. 
I really think it's beneficial and I can show you exactly how I dry brush before a shower. Um, so stay tuned, um, subscribe, and I also have an Instagram at the Pretty Potsy. Um, got plenty of other videos you can watch. So thank you so much for taking the time. I wish you happy showers and I hope everyone is doing wonderfully. Thanks so much for watching.